Hey y'all, it's Allie. Guess what? I am done with another journal insert. I am officially completely completed with my volume three journal insert. And so I am so excited. I mean, there's just nothing like filling up an insert from start to finish. I have three now. This is volume three and I'm going to be Digging into volume four, some exciting news there too. So I, it's time. What is it time for people? It's time for a journal flip through. I am really excited to share with you my journal. You'll see, you'll see kind of like a pattern that happens sometimes when I journal, but it's okay. I, I don't require myself to follow any sort of strict regimen for journaling. It's completely, uh, just therapeutic and it's supposed to be something that brings you joy someplace that's a safe place for you to write down your feelings so that's how you complete inserts you complete inserts by just doing it day at a time and sometimes not even a day at a time sometimes it'll be a week or two goes by or something but just 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 keep going just keep journaling just keep journaling just keep journal journaling like dory right no further ado no that's not how you say that without further ado i present to you my volume three journal this is lovey and that's what houses my journal my personal life artist journal and i have to apologize the sun oh my gosh i'm so sorry y'all i just need to like look at the weather and then decide not to film on partly cloudy days i kind of need to get this filmed before i go out of town oh look how thin and floppy he is without my journal in there oh, look at how cute his kitty he is oh my goodness but i have not put packing tape on this one yet i'm going to do that but this is my first journal okay that's my volume one this was my volume two, quite a bit thicker, right? And then this is my volume three, not as thick, right? And so I, I know in my volume three journal, I did not have near as many, I had a lot of pages where I just wrote and had a little watercolor, as you'll see, because I had some stressful times in this journal. This journal, I was getting started, did a lot of words and did a few tippins here and there, which were fun, but mainly it was just words, some stamps and a tip in here and there. Um, and I really started getting more into like the art kind of journaling thing where I'm, you know, it's like you see how it's evolved. Like it's very simple in this volume one. And then I start out like that in this journal. And then I kind of grow into, as actually when I started my channel, kind of pushing myself and, and figuring out some different things that I could do. Like this one, I used some ink tents. I got this and here's, you know, another tip in, but like spraying and tippins within tippins and stuff like that. So, I mean, I kind of, I went a little crazy bonkers on this one, um, which is fine. I love that. I just love that. And I have both of these, I believe I have filmed. So I'll try to link those below. And so this one, you'll see that there is a lot of just plain Jane writing. I had a lot I was going through in this journal. So let's let's just get right into it. So this is volume three. I decorated, you'll see on these two, they're crapped. And I actually just put some stuff around them and kind of like did a collage of different things. And then on this one, I decided to do it differently. I painted it and put this cute little deer on here. And then I collaged a little bit on the back to add little bits here and there, hand lettered on it, foiled on it. I have some little um, fabric from my friend Katie who has a, her ring shop. I love her rings when Katie met Soda on Etsy. So put some things in here that people have given me and this is just basically writing and watercolor. Sometimes I didn't even watercolor. This couple spreads is a Christmas I was catching up and so there's like a lot of tippins on here for like Christmas, I put a leaf in there, a little uh, clear element that I made. This is like a tip-in within a tip-in. Isn't that crazy? Like that one's like a big old. And I decided that I can't do that a lot on the edge because the edge can't really support it. But it's fun for that. And that was just glued on there. 
And here's another one, another tip in. I just stuck this in here. We um, support a African child, his name's Sam Well, and we know the person who runs this children's home. So we actually get to talk to him for real. And we send letters back and forth and he's just so sweet. I can't wait to meet him in person. And we've been supporting him for a few years and so it was just kind of like a Christmas card from that organization. But Sam Well, I think is 14 this year. He's getting big, man. He's so handsome. I love him. More tip ins And I love pictures. Just some writing, simple writing. I left this blank actually because I wanted to do a spread. So this is a great example of I just didn't care if I wrote on that or not. I just went to the next thing because I wanted to do something that was like from one page to the next. So I have this as a journal with me actually. And this little clear thing, I literally just stapled it on. No big deal. Some journaling. And this is kind of more art journaling fun stuff, which I love. And some more tip ins, a little cardstock thing that I made, some distress stains. You'll see that I don't use them as much in this journal, the distress stains. I think I added this later. This was only writing as well. Um, some stamps. Sometimes I just wrote the date, y'all. Sometimes I just needed to get it out. There's a tip in, more writing. You'll see I just didn't do much. Did not do much. I mean, even this. Here's another, I mean, there's so much writing. Um, this I added like just the other day, like uh, two days ago. I have made these things for my patrons and I was like, I want one. And so I, this is one of my owls and I just stapled it in there to give it some color, to give it something because it's just writing. This is an old ticket from a movie. This is me trying to do foiling with that pen. It was horrible. And I actually use a curling iron and burnt myself. <laughs> More writing. Okay, here we go. So you'll see from Christmas, like, like this is what? February, the beginning of February to, where is it? May, I was kind of stressed out because that is when my, my photography season kicked in. And so that's why I was just writing, writing, writing. So here we have me actually starting back to my normal kind of bright, light, fun, tip-in kind of journaling. This is actually a photo of this next page because I just thought it was so pretty without the words that I wanted to remember that. So don't be afraid to take a picture of your journal spread before and stick it in there, you know? These are my new Sparrow Babies. I felt really pretty that day, so I took a picture. I honestly don't feel pretty most days, so that was actually a big deal for me. So I took a picture. And this is when I got my, my space cleaned up, which was really cool. And there's another picture of it. That's that. This is just Sharpie and watercolor. And most of this is watercolor, um, <clears throat> Daniel Smith watercolors. I use a little ink tense right here. All this other stuff is just watercolor, water, uh, distress stain, all that. I'll try to, now I can get into more of the products and stuff. Uh, more watercolor, some card that I got in a mail, some washi. This is when I got ordained. I'm technically a pastor. People don't have to call me Pastor Alley, you know what I'm saying? It's just, we run a prayer house and so um, this is when I got ordained. That was kind of a big deal in my life, so I put that on there. And uh, this is some practice when I was starting my hand lettering and I started, discovering that I love to put handwriting, like lettering in my journals. And I love doing it down the side. So this was May, when, when did I do this? This was in May, uh, early, May 21st. So May 21st, I did this. I just love, and I like the ombre effect. I'm gonna be doing that some more too lately. Um, or not lately, <laughs> some more here soon. And then here we have a tip in and some more hand lettering. I tried some paint stuff, more hand lettering with that ombre effect. Do things over and over again if you like it. That's what I say. Another thing that I love to do, and you'll kind of see it right here, and I do it later. I just like to draw messy lines to frame things, and I'll do like a couple lines per side. You'll see us some more later, but that's something I like to do. This is some playing around with some foiling. You'll start to see I get into foiling now, which I love to do in my journal. After that pen wasn't working so hot, because I did this, this card, 
and it was fine and that pen worked for like I don't know 10 minutes or something I think I did I think I showed a little bit of this on the Instagram on a, on a fast I do some little journal tiny tiny journal with me on Instagram I was I saying I was talking about foiling so foiling I was working with that and I was trying to do some different things and I used my glue dot to try to see if it would come so it's a little bit sticky right there here again more hand lettering, light colors so that I can write over it. I just love the layered look. And I use some jelly roll pens for the thing and my, I love this. This uh, stencil is a lot of fun to use. Use that, this is just a clear embellishment that I cut. And then I put a little bit of a label, black label over there. And here we have some more just watercolor and writing. Tip in, I actually embossed this with an embossing pen. And then this is foil, uh, foiling adhesive. And I have a video on my Patreon only feed. Uh, I, think if you, I think it's a $3 reward where I show how to do this technique um, on there, which is a lot of fun. It's so much fun. This, this like page, it brings me so much joy because of those like gold, that gold shiny, which is fun. <clears throat> And I did some more hand lettering and again here's some framing with some squiggly lines they do not have to be perfect so you just make some lines and they're fine I did a face behind some of this some more hand lettering and some writing there I think this is distress stains actually because I needed to do it quickly and then I did some watercolor here. Again, more of the squiggly line frames. I used my Polaroid uh, zip printer for these pictures, but just to kind of give you a note, more hand lettering. Uh, if you're draw heat drying something and there's a Polaroid zip on the other side, it's gonna warp it and it actually discolors it. I found that out the hard way. So poor Nadine's got a blue cheek because I heat gone to the back side of this page. And this is one of my favorite pages in this journal. It's so bright and rainbow. This is when I got sick. I actually got sick here when I went to this conference. And this is just the little band they let you wear for your conference thing. And I cut it and put it in there. But I just did some like bright watercolor and added some things and tipped in this and then did a little bit of stuff on the side and I'm just really loving the lettering y'all I just can't say that enough these little flags you'll see throughout my journals they're so much fun again more foiling it makes me so happy I love the foiling this this is the page that I did on uh, patreon for the, the exclusive video but I did I show where I used stencils with the foiling. It was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Tipped in picture here. Did a little bit with some marker. Kind of keep some contrast there, which was fun. This page is kind of like a picture catch-up time. Like, I, I did a journal with me where I, it ended up being like a picture catch-up time. I think it's in this, this insert, actually. Here it is. So this was like, I, I had put about a ton of these smaller pictures. And so I, I kind of redid this. Look at that, when I had 999 subscribers, I was so excited, I'm still excited. Every single time the number grows, I'm just like so humbled that people wanna watch my videos. I did this like a while ago. This was, I can't remember when, it was around, I don't know, August maybe of last year. So about a year ago-ish. And I did kind of the same thing, but these are bigger pictures. So these, if you, like here's a piece of selfie paper since I have it right here. My selfie's being wonky, y'all. Like it's telling me that I have the wrong paper size when I clearly have the selfie paper size. But this is one four by six. And, and one of these, that's half of a selfie paper. And then that is a quarter of the selfie paper. You can even get smaller. That, you can get eight of these on this selfie paper. So that's how I did all those pictures. And then I just kind of like caught up with some of the quarter ones. And then did a little bit of um, like the silhouette cutting and then put Jennifer Harvey's Louie in there. I got to meet him <laughs> when I went up to Spokane, Washington for a trip to do her video. 
So that was fun. So that's the picture of ketchup. I did this with a, I believe I had a stencil. I did have a stencil. I used a stencil to get the for that face and just painted it and did my own thing with that, which was fun. And then again, squiggly lines for framing. So easy and so cute. I just love that look. I'm going to do that for a long time probably because it makes me happy. Makes me happy. And then this is another Jane Davenport stencil. This is kind of more of like an artistic thing. Um, I love that. It's kind of bright and funky and fun. Looks kind of 80s to me. And then this is like some of my own cards that I made for my patrons. I think you get at the $2 level you get these uh, a printable of like journaling cards and stuff so I got that I got inspired by Carrie Harling's navy and pink stuff <laughs> and then this is my last page just some watercolor and some spritz did some things and I just added this little fun thing I was giving away in some happy mail some of this foiling stuff and I had some left and I was like oh that'd be fun I just love layers so I stuck that in there and then this was swatches for I believe this was for distress stains or inks I can't remember but I just made them birds <laughs> which was kind of fun so yeah that is like not much to this journal this time because of all of the just writing 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 but I mean I did have some stuff in there I mean a lot of the stuff I've done before like um, like you know clear elements I've been doing for a long time like here's one right here that I did in my last journal I use the dy dy dyno dynamo I call it a dynamo I know it's not the real name but that's what I call it <laughs> the flags love doing that tiny attacher must have that's it that's my journal flip through it's not much but you know and don't feel like you can't go back and add some stuff like I added this in the middle because I wanted something there and then I added this there with a, just a staple because I, I felt I needed something like there's so many pages and it just made me happy to stick them right there and it doesn't really affect the words you, you can read right through there so yeah that's it y'all here's my announcement okay here's my announcement so I am waiting I have coming so I have journal now on Midori paper this is just the plain old Midori paper from Midori I have journal now on a chic sparrow uh, insert paper very nice cotton paper and guess what now I am going to journal on a Tomoe River insert this time and I'm kind of scared but I'm kind of excited just to show y'all I have been journaling on a Tomoe River paper for my boys small scale so in the tiny group people know what this is like but this is Tomoe River paper it's so so much fun when you paint on it but this I did a lot to this page. This page has a staple, oh no, I didn't staple through, but it's got this big thing on here. It's got a picture, it's got label, I've got paint, I've got watercolor, paint pen, India ink. I mean, there's a lot going on on this page. And look, you can't even, you don't even see anything. There's slight ghosting, but really not much. So after journaling small scale on my boys inserts I mean and you can get a lot of pages into one of these inserts I was so excited that Chic Sparrow is going to be offering Tomoe River inserts y'all hang tight they are coming thankfully I get to have it before I go out of town but if you just wait a little bit they'll be available and I am so stinking excited that Chic Sparrow is coming out with her own Tomoe River insert. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, so excited. So I will be thrilled to show y'all some journaling on that. I mean, the paper is outstanding. The paper, it's my favorite paper in the world, probably, I would have to say. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you so much to the patrons who are funding these videos. I mean, if y'all know 
there, there are people who are, are helping me out so that I can continue sharing content with you. Thank you, thank them. Pat a patron on a back today. And yeah, and if you'd like to become one, I have a link down below where you can see the stuff that you get, the rewards that you get, extra content, uh, goodies, all that fun jazz. Google Hangouts, so much fun. Alrighty, I will see y'all later. Have an awesome day and keep journaling. Bye.